What's up, Spidey fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, the co-host of the Marvel Masterworks podcast. Here with a look at the 12-inch Titan Hero Series Blast gear figure of Spider-Man. I recently found this figure in an outlet store. I thought that the accessories looked very interesting, but before we get a look at those, let's take a look at the package details. The top of the package it says Spider-Man. This is open window packaging. It says Spider-Man Titan Hero Series on the front bottom, and we get artwork of Spider-Man on the side. And on this side of the box, we get directions on how to use the Blast Gear accessories. On the back of the box, we get a full body product shot of Spider-Man using all of the Blast Gear accessories. The figure comes in open window packaging and all of the accessories are secured within the box. And now it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. And here we see Spider-Man out of the package and ready to rumble. There is so much to like about this figure. Had I had this as a child, I would have had a blast. No pun intended. But even as a child, I would have realized that there are areas that could have used improvement with this figure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the loose details now. Let's have a look at accessories now, and here we have the projectile launcher. This works by pressing this small button on the back, and this fits into his gripping hand. And I like the blue plastic here as well as the webbing design. And here are the two projectiles. As you can see, one is open webbing, and the other looks like webbing that hasn't yet impacted. And I'll have a bit more to say about those later in this review. I really like this body armor here. The paint applications are really superb. Here is the mask slash helmet, and I like that as well. While I would have preferred a figure with knee and elbow joints, I'm obviously not the target demo for this product. And here is a look at the loose figure itself. This is obviously based on a classic style costume. There is webbing sculpted into the boots, but there's not the detail of the webbing itself. Perhaps there should be a little bit more definition back here with the hamstrings. Although I do like the blue and reds on this figure. Very vibrant colors. The spider symbol on his chest is sculpted and the paint applications are exact. That's a really important aspect of any Spider-Man figure. A bad chest symbol can really sink a Spider-Man figure. Good musculature on the arms here. It is accurate to Peter Parker, so I do appreciate that. He has one gripping hand and one thwipping hand. On the back, he has a red spider design with the echoes of artists like Steve Ditko and John Romita but he also has this unsightly port. And if you've ever seen my videos on Titan Hero Series figures, you know how much I dislike those. And here's a look at the head sculpt, and I really do appreciate the overall shape, as well as the paint application and the sculpting on the lenses. In terms of articulation, once again, there are no knee joints. However, you can get the figure to kick forward that far. His ability to step back is minimal. However, you can get the figure into a full split. Like many of the newer Titan Hero series figures, he does have these hip joints that rotate. And that does give you posing options, which are especially advantageous for Spider-Man. 
There is rotation in both of the wrists, as you can see here, and that is certainly appreciated. You can lift both arms up from the sides and rotate them this much, and I certainly appreciate that. That's a massive improvement over the early waves of Titan Hero Series figures. There's also 360 degrees of rotation in the shoulders. In terms of the head sculpt, mine's especially tight, but there is movement side to side. There's a minor amount up, and he looks down this much. And there is a slight bit of head tilting, so I certainly appreciate that. Now I'll demonstrate the projectiles, and if you're watching this and you're buying this for a child or you're a child who is watching this, be very careful with this function. I want you to hear just how much force is generated here. If you heard that, that is a pretty substantial amount of force. Never aim this at your face or anyone else. And the same goes for the open webbing. And it does stay in place, I will give it that. But once again, you can hear that force. That is substantial, so that is concerning. Be very careful when you're using this function. Always make sure that it's being aimed away from other people. Now I'm going to put the chest armor on the figure. And it just slips on like this. Be careful that you don't do paint damage to the figure. I do like the way this looks. I do wish that the two shades of red matched. The chest armor has a slightly lighter red. And now I will put on this armored mask. And that just slides onto the face like that. And that looks pretty good as well. And it does stay in place, both pieces, as you can see demonstrated here. The launcher can be used in two different ways. There is this knob that fits into the gripping hand like this. And that is a secure fit. It doesn't feel like it's going to immediately fall out. And that same area snaps into the port on the back. And I'll have to give Hasbro credit. If they're going to have that port, at least it has a good function because now it looks like Spider-Man has on a jet pack. I certainly hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like and subscribe. Remember to catch me on Multiverse Musings, the vidcast, which is available right here on YouTube. And I'll be back with more Spider-Man related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast. And thanks for watching.